show you an Appalachian schoolhouse. And I want to tell you the story as best I can in the words of a woman who went there in the 1920s and 1930s. Right there is the remains of the old bridge that went across to the school. It washed out a long time ago. And now we got to wade the creek. I'm fortunate to own a book written by a lady named Virginia. She went to this school, and I think she can best tell about this story in her own words. Book learning was suspect to preachers who rode the circuit and came monthly to our Baptist church. My family, with the two eldest daughters in high school, sat through sermons attacking education as dangerous, since it filled the mind with worldly thoughts that could lead to sinning and fallen from grace. But my mother was determined that her children should earn a college degree. Virginia's grandfather donated this land in 1879, and her mother was one of the first teachers there. The old schoolhouse was on the creek. It was equipped with an outhouse for girls upstream and for one for boys downstream. Our drinking fountain was water from the distant spring that splashed from a shoulder-high pipe year-round, creating sparkling icicles that glazed the ground in winter. No play equipment was available, so we played running team games at recess such as stink base and kick the can. In early fall and late spring, all windows were open, so bees and bugs flew in and out, humming and droning. I had great difficulty staying awake on the warm afternoons. In the winter, all students huddled around the big pot-bellied stove in the center of the room. Its pipe went straight up and angled straight out, and was held by wire suspended from the ceiling. Every now and again, the stovepipe fell, filling the room with smoke and soot, just missing the students. Pandemonium existed until the big boys helped the teachers put the pipe back in place before the fire in the stove went out. Oh, that's a crying shame that didn't make it. A little old toy car. That's pretty cool. It's a good thing about having nice soft soil. Picked up a squeaky rough little high tone. And it was a metal lid off this bottle. Which doesn't say anything on it. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe some paint? It had something white in it. I'll take it with me. Well, I knew if I kept messing around, eventually I'd find something cool. Check out the old button. Fancy. I think the back's pretty well rusted away. Let's clean the front of that thing up. My goodness, that looked pretty. I'll show it to you. Now that is hands down the prettiest button I've ever dug. And I've got to say that it's plated with the back being the way that it is. But my goodness, what a plating job. That held up well. That thing's going to clean up spectacular. I'll let you look at it one more time after I do an official cleaning on it. I just got a cool little surface fine bottle. It's got a whole little micro system going on inside that thing. Little cork top. It's got the Atlas symbol on the bottom of it. And I think it says three and a two and a half ounces right there on the top. I like it. I'm gonna take that one with me. Oh, this is a great little find. I would bet anything that was a shotgun shell. And I think it's in perfect shape. A thimble. And it is absolutely perfect. 
Not a dent in it. That's cool. I love finding those things. Well, I tell you what, the targets are really thin and widespread, but uh, the only high tones I've got have been mason jar lids, and it's not been that many of them. So I'm really happy with what I found today. That old button and this thimble. Cool. I'll clean it up. Man, I tell you what, buttons hold up nice in this dirt. Look at that thing. Old overall button, but goodness gracious. Talk about cleaning up pretty. Always recheck your hole. Another signal in there, and I think I got a matching set. Look at that. Very cool. There it is. Whew. That was a close call. I need to mark it next time. Alright, I've got my eyes down and I'm always looking. What do you think that is? May just be a rock, but to me, oh yeah. That's a little arrowhead. Now it is in rough shape. That is most definitely worked. Pretty cool. I haven't found a little point in a long time. You never know. Keep those eyes down. Well, I just detected another bottle. Don't think it's too old though. Let's see if it's all there. Yeah, buddy. Somebody was drinking. Shame, shame, shame. Well, we're going to leave this one here. This one doesn't interest me. Ooh, what do you reckon's in there? Well, I ain't going to take a sip of it. We'll set this right back where we found it. <clears throat> Maybe on my way through, I'll pick it up if I got room. Well, I stuck my shovel right here, and that popped up there. So I'm afraid I hit it good, but... Wow. That's a dandy spoon. Good shape, too. Except for the little crease I put in it. Man. All right. Well, if I see any markings or can date this thing or something, I'll show it to you again. But big old spoon. Well, that Prince Albert can held up pretty well. Good paint on that. Now, it's just one side. The back is gone. But, uh... I swear, as long as I see these cans, I'll remember that time Red stopped metal detecting because he found a pile of these things and started flipping through them and flipped a barber quarter out of the middle of the cans. Yep. That's Red. And I may save that one for him. He may like that. So how many of you guys, when I was digging my overall buttons, were yelling at me, No, dummy, that's a World War II button. And it is. I love this hobby. Um, came home to clean these up. I want you to look at the back of these things. They are perfect. That soil was so kind to these buttons. Yeah, um... All right, so I come home and I start cleaning them up, and I counted the stars. There's 13, okay, 13 original colonies. I thought, that's kind of odd. And then there's no lettering, no company advertisement, and I thought, I better check these things. So I do a little Googling, sure enough, 1938, these buttons came out. And they are U.S. Army. And uh, 
best I can tell, they went on kind of like army coveralls. Um, and I'll show you a picture of what that uniform looked like. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, constantly learning something, you know? It's nice. Here I am thinking it's just some overall button, some hunter lost, and nope, came off a uniform. So, those will definitely stay in the collection. Now, check this button out. Guys, that's a chunk of silver on there. The back is terrible. But that is some super thick plating. Um, there isn't any corrosion at all going on there. That is the prettiest button I have ever dug. Uh, wow. Really surprised me being at this little Appalachian schoolhouse. Um, I mean, even back in the day, you're not talking a terribly expensive item, but it wasn't cheap either. Some detail went into that thing. Love to know what that came off of. Everything I dug today really came out of the ground nice. That sandy soil, man, it was some good stuff. The thimble is in great condition too. So that's all I cleaned up right now, but I just wanted to share that in particular with you. That tickled me to death. Hope you enjoyed watching.